Welcome to finding intercepts for uh, pre-calculus algebra. And what we want to keep in mind here is that um, sometimes you're given the equation of a curve. So you're given the equation, and you're asked to find the intercepts from the equation. Um, now, that's usually how it goes when you apply, when you, when you go to find intercepts for um, a class in calculus, for example. Um, you often don't have the graph. You're looking to find things like intercepts so you can create the graph. And so um, when you go to find intercepts, um, all we have to remember is that to find the x-intercept, or intercepts, there might be more than one x-intercept, um, you set y equal to 0, and then you solve the resulting equation. And to find the y-intercept, and usually there's only one, if you're well, if you're dealing with a function, there's only one y-intercept, but sometimes there can be more, as we'll see. Uh, when you're looking for uh, y-intercepts, you set x equal to 0 and solve the resulting equation. Okay, let's see how this works. So let's find the x and the y-intercepts of uh, this curve given algebraically. So let's first find the x-intercept, or intercepts. And to do, that, to do that, we set y equal to 0. So we're looking at x squared is equal to 16 minus, OK, 0 squared, right? And then we have to solve that equation. So we have x squared is equal to 16. So x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. So x is equal to plus or minus 4. And so that gives two x-intercepts. The first one, 4, 0. And the second one is negative 4, 0. And likewise with the y-intercepts. So to find the y-intercepts, we're going to set x equal to 0. And we have uh, 0 squared is equal to 16 minus y squared. All I did is I replaced x with 0 in that equation. And I have to solve this equation. So I have 0 is equal to 16 minus y squared. So let's write this as adding y squared to both sides. y squared is equal to 16. So y is equal to plus or minus 4, sorry, plus or minus the square root of 16 again. So y equals plus or minus 4. So that gives y-intercepts of 0, 4, and 0, negative 4. OK, now it turns out that we had two x-intercepts, and we had two y-intercepts. And you could use those in conjunction with other um, information about this uh, curve to graph the curve. And it turns out the graph of this curve happens to be something we've seen before. It happens to be a circle. So this is the equation that we just had. And if you write this in standard form by adding y squared to both sides, you have x squared plus y squared is equal to 16, which is a circle with a center of 0, 0. So that's the center. And the radius is the square root. So the radius is the square root of 16, or the square root of the right-hand side, which happens to be 4. And so you can see that the circle has two x-intercepts, 4, 0, negative 4, 0, and two y-intercepts, 0, 4, and 0, negative 4. OK, let's try another one. Let's find the x and y-intercepts of this curve. So likewise, let's set the to find the x-intercepts, we're going to set y to 0. And we have 4x squared is equal to 100. So x squared is equal to 25. So x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 25. So x equals plus or minus 5. So again, we have two x-intercepts, 5, 0, and negative 5, 0. And when we go to find y, or look for y-intercepts, rather, to do that, we set x equal to 0. So we have, let's see, 4 times 0 squared, right? x is now 0, minus y squared is equal to 100. So we have 0 squared is 0 times 4 is 0, minus y squared equals 100. So this is uh, dividing both sides by negative 1. y squared is equal to negative 100. Now, uh, this equation has no real solutions because there's no number, no real number that you can square to get negative 100. So if you go to solve this, you'd write y equals plus or minus the square root of negative 100. So y equals plus or minus 10i, if you recall uh, imaginary or complex numbers. But the point is, is that there are no real y-intercepts. We have two x-intercepts, but no uh, y-intercepts. And if you go to graph this curve later on, we're going to see this curve um, uh, later on in the course, this curve happens to look like this. 
So here's the equation 4x squared minus y squared equals 100, and you can see that you had intercepts, right? We had x-intercepts of 5, 0, and 0, negative 5, but no y-intercepts. That is, the curve never crosses the uh, y-axis. This curve, that is these two branches, is called the hyperbola. So hyperbola. And we'll be uh, talking more about hyperbolas later on in the course. Okay, so generally to find x and y-intercepts, you set the other variable equal to zero and solve the resulting equation. Until next time.